Let's take a closer look at some of the new access control features available in Docker EE 1706 and later. We'll start out by looking at the new custom roles feature, then we'll look at RBAC for nodes. So first up, Docker EE has always shipped with a set of default roles for that easy out of the box experience. But they're pretty generic and they don't always fit your real world requirements. Well, custom roles to the rescue. So over and above the default out of the box roles, we can now define as many custom roles as we want. And we can get really granular with them, like all the way down to individual API operations. But stepping back for a second, access control in Docker EE is based on the idea of a grant, which basically says such and such a user or team, we call this the subject, has this level of access, we call that the role, to this set of objects or resources, we call this the collection. And only admins can create and manage grants, by the way. But subjects here can be users, teams, organizations. The role here is that granular set of permitted API operations. And the collection is a set of cluster resources that those API operations can be made against. Now behind the scenes, collections are implemented using labels. Basically, every resource on the system gets its own com.docker.ucp.access.label and that keeps track of which collection the resource belongs to. Then, the collections themselves are organized hierarchically like a directory structure and they do inheritance and the likes. So let's see how it all works. First things first, okay, we need a subject. Like we said, it can be a user team or an entire org. It's simple stuff, okay, I think we'll go with a team in the technology group organization here. And we'll go with TG Networks. Then if we look at our users over here, okay, we can see that some of them are members of this team and some aren't. Okay, so now onto the good stuff, the role. So I'm gonna say, let's create a new one. We'll call it Network Ops. And under Operations here, this is where we define the permitted API operations. So for this role, I'm basically wanting a network admin and nothing else. So I find the network operations here and I check them all. Now you don't have to, maybe you just want network view. The choice is yours, right? But I'm going for a full network admin and I'm leaving everything else unchecked. Okay. Right, we've got the TG Networks team as our subject. We've created the network ops role with the permitted API operations. So all we need now is a set of resources that we're going to allow those operations on. So collections are down here. We've already got a custom collection here called zones. And then within that, a dev and a prod collection. Now this cluster is configured with production stuff in the prod collection here and dev stuff in the dev collection. And we're going to use this zones prod one in a second. So we'll come over here to manage our grants. We can go create new grant. And then for the subject, we want the TG Networks team that was in the tech group org. Uh, for the role, we want that custom network operations role we created. And for collection, it was zones, prod. And that's it. I mean, that right there is our grant. So the TG network team gets that network ops role to everything in the zones prod collection. Pretty powerful stuff. Now, RBAC for nodes is similar, though it is a feature of Docker EE Advanced. So you will need an advanced license to unlock this. Anyway, this time we'll show how we can set things up so that developers can only deploy stacks and services to nodes that are in that zones dev collection. So we've already got a dev team and we've already got our environment set up so that we've got a prod collection with all of our prod stuff in it and a dev collection with all of our dev stuff in it. Well, we've got a new worker here, worker two, and we've decided that this is the worker that we want to give our devs access to. Well, that means we need to move it into the zone dev collection. But because it's new, we can see it's currently in the default shared collection. Well, to move it, we configure it up here. 
and then we change this access label here to be zones dev. That's it. And see how it's updated already? Okay, well remember that everything is based on grants. So let's go create another one. This time we'll have the TG dev team. There it is. Under roles, we'll give it scheduler. Now, this is a default role that if you look at it, it's only got node schedule and node view as its permitted API operations. So that means all it can do is view nodes and schedule work to them. Well, then for the collection, we'll give it zones. Dev. And that's it. Again, that is our grant. TG devs have schedule access to nodes in the zones dev collection. Now, if we quickly look at roles here, there's the scheduler role and see how it's only got that node view and node schedule. So there we go, custom roles and RBAC for nodes, really powerful tools for our real world environments. For more information, come and visit us at www.docker.com enterprise edition.